Hi guys, my name is Bart Kamski and this is another Unreal Engine 4 minutes tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create sliders for your music level and your sound level in your game. So let's get right into it. Okay, so what I have is I have this sound which is just uh, loop loop sound from the engine content I I found it here somewhere here in the engine content and I move it uh, and I copy it and move it to my content and this is just a loop and another thing is these three sounds I also find it in engine content and I hook it up in sound queue and uh, what we have to do, and what I already have, is I have my um, widget. This is not a tutorial about widgets, so you probably know how to do it already. And I have this music sound, music and SFX lettering here, and the slider for it. And I here have on value change slider, so I got this event here, and I got this event here. We're gonna use it to change the adjust and change the volume of our sounds. Okay, so first what we have to do is we need to open our sound and here is a sound class and it's by default master. If we go to it, we will go to engine content and engine sounds and here is, my, uh, here is our master sound class. We have to create our own because if we use this one and we try to modify this one, if we move our project only our project to different computer or whatever, this master, this uh, settings will not move with our project. So we need to create our own sound class in our project, in our content uh, where, we need, where we need it. So I'm gonna create it here, go to the sounds. I'm using 4.24, 4.24 already uh, has some big improvements in sounds and it looks slightly different, so sound classes, all the sound, different sound assets are grouped in categories. So we go to the classes category and we create sound class and this is going to be my master. So I name it like here. This is going to be my master and we need another one. And this is going to be my music. And we need another one and this is going to be my SFX. Name it my or your project name and SFX because uh, they are already sounds, they are already sound classes that are named music and SFX in default engine, so please do not confuse them. Okay, let's go back to our stuff. Here we are, and we need to create one more thing which is sound mix modifier it is also in classes and we need to create only one and this is going to be again my or whatever your project name is sound mix and if we open my master uh yes my master if we open this uh we need to add child classes so we add two child classes because we have sfx child class and music child class we're gonna add it here my SFX and my music. As we can see, we have it here. We can also make another uh, children of these sound classes, so we can split mu whole music to the menu music, uh, game music, uh, uh, different game mode music, and it call, uh, uh, all can be in this uh, in this my music class, which is a children of master. But we need uh, only this for now. Okay, and here we need to add, do we need to add? Um, I don't remember actually, but we're gonna figure this out. Okay, let's go to our sound controls and what I'm sure about, this is really tricky. And what I'm sure about is what we have to do here is we need to set up um, our sound mix 
set bass sound mix and we need to we need to do it in um, even construct or bag in play or whatever you are with it. I'm do I'm using uh, widget blueprint which is already hooked up in my uh, level right here. I just create sound controls widget and I add it to to viewport so it is already there. And I'm use and I'm choosing my sound mix here. Okay. Here I have my slider for music, which is this one, view on value change, or you need to add it by plus. And here we need to overwrite, set sound mix class overwrite. And here we choose our sound mix, my sound mix, and we choose our class, which is my music. And we need to, uh, we need to set up value here and i forgot about this very important step when we, when we created that should be before that when we create our master and our my music and my sfx we have to apply set up these classes to our sound so let's open our wave sound and here is by default master but we need to set up my music class here and save it and again with our sound queue default is master we need to set up my sfx class here let's save everything and uh, let's also hook, hook up uh, sfx so basically everything is the same except instead of my music class here's my sfx class okay let's check it out one more thing uh, our because our default class and volume is set up to one as default so our slider should be set up by default to one so not so not to be not confused okay yeah it works Sound effects are working. Half volume. Full volume. Music half volume. Zero volume. Everything works. You need to remember one thing. If you set up music to zero and you try to volume up again, the music will start from the beginning. If you want to uh, avoid that, you need to change one uh, crucial setting, which is virtualization mode from restart to play when silent. So if you set it up to zero, engine will not kill the sound, but it will play it uh, while it's silent. It's also occupied the channel, so you have to be careful with that. But basically, that's it. You have to create new sound classes, you have to set it up to your uh, effects. You need to create sound mix modifier. You don't need to do anything with it. You need to go to your blueprint, set up at the beginning, set base sound mix with your sound mix modifier, and then set sound mix class override with your sound class, with your sound class like my music or my SFX and also here in sound mix modifier uh, here you can change volume uh, oh there's one thing there's fade, fade in time you can set it up to zero so now it works instantly yeah and if you change if you change pitch instead of volume You probably won't need that. Okay, that's it. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please subscribe to my channel. You can join uh, my Discord channel. You can ask me directly if you have any questions. I will try to help you. Thanks for watching again and see you next time.